Life is hard and my dick is harder. The microphone wasn't recording, even though I t checked to see if it was. But it isn't, so um, I don't think it's worth it for me to convert my laptop audio onto my iPhone audio. So it's just going to be me being normal and boring and talking. It's very sad, really. I hope you don't mind. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of mine. Uh, it's been about a month. Um, not too much has happened. I mean, I've been to school in and out, you know, I guess I'm pretty busy with that. Um, fighting for my, my independence, my freedom, but... As you can tell, I was trying to do ASMR here, so consider yourself lucky that you were spared from me eating a biscuit into the microphone. I won my fight for independence, but I didn't need a civil war. Um, that's not how America did it. I'm currently home alone, which is why I'm speaking, um, like, you know, I'm a person and not hiding in my bedroom. I'm still in my bedroom, but I'm I'm free. Oh, that's better, isn't it? What if I put it there? We're back because this is one of my other video essay type videos. It's not a video essay. It's me talking, as you can tell by this very, you know, calm atmosphere where I'm sitting at. I have a desk. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a... It's just a mug and a biscuit. But I also bleached my hair again. This is just a bit of a life update. As I said, very casual, very chill. Let me just take a sip of tea to prove that now. You know, my most... One of my most recent videos that, you know, I'm semi-happy with. From the split dye video, which of course you've seen. Why wouldn't you have seen it? I'm properly blonde now. Um, it's quite sexy. Today, I wanted to talk about something that I know many of you hold semi-dearly in your heart. I feel like I'm kind of one of the only people who are like romanticizing <laughs> the old BBC, CBBC. CBBC is home to many strange programs and I could go into like every single one of them. I could talk about young Dracula. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Wowie. Um, what on earth is that? Blast <laughs> to get us in the mood. It's a real thing though. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I could talk about the Spartacle mystery. Honestly, I should talk about the Spartacle mystery because... What are we going to do? You must travel to the Spartacle project and realign our dimension with your dimension. Oh my god. I mean, the only thing better than that in terms of teen sci-fi was the Sarah Jane Adventures. 13 Phantom in a Road is where Sarah Jane Smith lives. Video about, I also want to make a Doctor Who video, but... You know, let's not talk about future plans. Let's talk about what I'm going to talk about today. Been as classical as um, the Spartacle mystery, which is quite recent. I know there are people out there, but I don't know if those people are going to watch this video. So if you are and you really like that, uh, let me know because, oh, that, oh, baby, I could actually make a video essay about that if I had any editing skills. Today I'm talking about something more on the, you know, the light entertainment side. It's a puppet, a puppeted, puppeteered, puppeteered program. Um, called Strange Hill High. <laughs> this show has a Wikipedia article that's nearly as bare as mine. Almost. Strange Hill High is sparsely mentioned in the nostalgic CBC shows, TikToks, and, you know, I don't know, it's Twitter threads. I was only eight years old when <laughs> this came out, I think. Strange Hill High was definitely, oh, you know, CBBC took a downturn, obviously, because everything did. Past 2012, everything just started to suck, which now that I'm thinking about it, might correlate with some kind of predicted predicament. Strange Hill High is a brilliantly crafted show um, with very funny jokes, and it's got it's got you know the comedians up there, uh, one very certain comedian you know that is up there with the top dogs, such as my top dogs James Acaster, you know, starring Richard Ayoade and some other names that I can't remember because. His, the character that he voices is the only one that lives in my mind. I think this show is severely under underappreciated. And I know I talk like a Tory politician when I talk in these videos about something I'm passionate about. Blue! No, but it does mean that you are entitled to a beautiful new blue passport. Um, I, I, this show, it just, I don't know why people didn't like it more. A Harry Potter situation where it's two boys and one girl. And she is just... She's like the archetype of every Tumblr girl, especially in 2012 or whenever, when this came out. It was so... That's a very realistic character, I think. Becky. I knew it ended with a Y. 
And like I said before, there is Mitchell, who on the Wikipedia page sparsely mentions that he has a single mother, uh, and he has ADHD, which <laughs> comes in some books that probably- To come here and read a nice long passage from this book. It won't work on me. I have ADHD. No! And then of course there's Templeton. Right again, Mr. Tanner. But we'll get into him soon. In fact, I can pinpoint why this was not as wholly remembered is not only just because the people we are seeing now talk about nostalgic old CBBC shows were not old enough yet, but also the CBBC didn't really put it out there much, you know. I tried looking up and on the CBBC website there is maybe one very short video that looks into the process of the puppets and it's like, this is the weirdest show out there. That's the marketing of the, of the series. Obviously it was there's nothing bad. There was no real reason for this show to be, you know, kind of forgotten. I specifically remember that it was like, this is such a zany show. It's quirky and weird and whoa, you know, it's kind of like, it, it wasn't in like a, I'm not like other girls way, but it was, it was very, I was only eight. So I don't know whether I was just not used to things being openly advertised as weird, but it's easier to let old things speak for themselves and their weirdness, you know? I'm, I mean, have you seen Basil Brush? My blankie! <laughs> My career! <laughs> that, they didn't need to make it known that he was weird. To have something openly be weird, and it's, it makes a bit of a less of a memory, I suppose, because weird things stick in your mind, but when they're trying, when you know they're kind of trying to be weird, I guess, maybe that... Maybe that makes it a bit less memorable. See, maybe it was easier to get invested in stuff like this particle mystery, which it was, and like uh, the story of Tracy Beaker, which was full of drama. And you know, I can I can vouch for a lot of kids where it says bit of drama is very fun. And I'm not saying that absolutely nobody remembers this. Trust me, people people do. But it's just I don't think it's remembered enough. I don't. Th I think so. And nobody's really, you know, talked about it. And I've even like made my own drawing, and I've seen that people, you know click on the Instagram tag and people are out there, you know, making some pretty fun illustrations about it. But I just want to come here and talk about Strange Hill High with you because I think it's fantastic. Get out of that representation of 10 dimensional space time this instant. Someday I'm going to become a microwave oven and marry her. The proof of my cube earth theory. Kill him! Chainsaws don't kill people, Becky. People do. I, I watched it a lot as a kid. Duh. And obviously the jokes completely went past me and I don't know whether I ever actually laughed out loud at the series. Forms of comedy with that, it's very sort of physical because it's puppets and they're very, <laughs> very sort of imposing in, uh, you know, how they move and the props and stuff. Many full episodes in research and all this. There is a Google Drive link, I think. I don't know whether that still works, but if you're interested and you want to watch some, I'll try and link it for you in the description. And you know who all this funniness is down to? Templeton. Mic drop. I'm not gonna drop it. Templeton. Templeton, Templeton, Templeton. Does he have a last name? Okay, Mitchell and Becky have surnames, but Templeton does not, which I think by itself tells you a bit about his character. But he's voiced by Richard Ayuadi. I'm the sort of person who has many a parasocial relationships with comedians by watching every single YouTube video that contains them. <laughs> he really stands out. I've, I've watched the first episode and I thought that he was just gonna, I thought he was the only fun, funny character in the existence of the show and I found that's not true. On further investigation, everyone is absolutely hilarious. But in the first episode, he really <laughs> shines. He makes a lot of pop culture references. I, I think that's kind of, uh, obviously breaking the fourth wall is definitely his forte. The fourth floor! The fourth floor! They just keep throwing twists at us, don't they? I bet this night is really a celebrity. Come on, take off your helmet, Jamie Oliver. Hmm, I have a lot of fixing to do. Hmm. 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 Recklessly? Never. No one's going to vote me off after this. I realised that he was not the only well-written comedic character in the series by watching the Out of Context series on YouTube that is pretty much one of the only scraps of, you know, the stuff out there um, of uh, Strange High content and that's basically <laughs> what made me realise how funny this show was. I mean, obviously it's out of context, but I, I kind of remember the context, so it was... It, 
Oh my god. And so a credit to Little Miss Misan. Um, who compiled all these videos and <laughs> it seemed like they took her a lot of effort so I suggest you watch those and uh, I've got a few of my clips from her. hope she doesn't mind. One thing that spiralled me down this strange little high hole was the character designs. Not of everyone at first before I discovered, um, you know, clips of it and I was like, I, I could see the full cast. But, oh my god, the character designs, not a single one of them misses. Like, Peckerwell and obviously the design team that went into them are geniuses. Geniuses! Highlights are this girl, this guy, these two, this guy. Excuse me, I'm going to my office where I can be alone with thousands of years of sad memories. I mean, all the staff really are brilliant. I mean, the headmaster's pretty normal, but his character makes up for that because he's absolutely What? <laughs> no biscuits? Oh, this is inhuman! Let me out! And the main characters are honestly, like, pretty pleasing to look at. Um, very nice. <laughs> I like, uh, Becky's Blue Peter Bird. <sighs> the, the, Templeton! I just don't understand him! Bad. But how will I know how it works if I don't take it apart and break it? <laughs> Okay, first of all, let's just delve into it real quick. Let's just delve into it. He's got some kind of afro. Great start. Why does he have a white wiggly stripe in it? I generally... Am I missing something? Oh, take my brain. Look, I've even drawn convenient cut lines for you. Why's it got a stripe in it? That's not how hair works. He also wears socks with slippers. Not slippers. Sand sandals. Odd socks. With sandals, and you can see all his toes, obviously. He just, I don't think we ever see his mouth, obviously. Why would we see his mouth? But he just confuses me. I like his little ruler in his pocket, but I mean, he just confuses me. Oh, but he, oh, he, he gets me. Yo, dogs. Who's dissing tea time? And it, I think, I, I said, you know, I, I thought Templeton was like the only properly, absolutely funny character being I was wrong, because I was inexperienced with the series. But I have yet to see any characters make as absolute bangers of jokes as him about the gun laws. What? Uh, I'd be jealous if Templeton were the Easter Bunny. I still give you eggs, but things would never be the same. This show will hold a very, very special place in my heart. Um, it's underappreciated. If try and watch it, I don't know. Try your best. I'm heavily invested. I, as you can tell. I made a video about it, I drew them! I drew them! I never do that! I never do any fandom drawings. Just quickly, some highlights of the show are... Okay, first of all, I know I talked about the highlights of the characters, but this guy... PLEASE CHANGE THE SUBJECT! I really like him, he's very funny. Just the plot, I remember, I vaguely remember some of the plots. Very funny. It has two seasons, and then, you know, it disappeared into the oblivion. But it's brilliant, and... You know, not saying you should watch all of it or uh, become obsessed with it I mean you can if you want be my guest just acknowledge it look at me in the eyes and acknowledge that Strange Hill High was very good sorry let me just look both of them actually both of them thank you thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen you're all absolutely sexy as hell I'll see you next time on a video about something else that's probably British and televised what could it be? Looking at my script, yes, I write script. And I was really not having a good day when I was writing this. I use escapism and fiction to a concerning degree in which I can't even go to sleep at night without imposing myself in scenarios that are completely imposed by my own mind. I use impose twice in the sense, come on, get with it. By my own mind, the place where I run myself through a ringer of self-doubt and career options I will likely never pursue, mainly because I can't take risks and frankly, I never get lucky. And the document ends with help me. This was about Strange Hill High, Wick. My dreams were crushed long ago. Ta-ra. Then Becky, I sincerely hope you were hit by a bus.